Hey everybody, this is Eric Folks, Instructional Technology Coordinator for LimePasses ISD. Today we are going to talk about how to use simple transfer to get your photos and videos, no matter how big they are, from the iPad to a computer. Now this computer that you're sending them to can be a wireless or a desktop device, it does not matter. First thing we're going to do is go to our iPad and take some video. So I'm going to click on camera. I'm going to take some video. We're recording, we're recording. I stop my recording. Goes into my camera roll. Exit out of the camera roll. Now you'll see I've got quite a few photos in here. One limitation to simple transfer is that you need to make sure that the photos or the videos you're trying to access and download are within the first 50 of any given album. So from our camera roll, what we're going to do is make sure that that photo or video is not within the first 50 photos or videos for any given album. If I click back on the albums button, you can see all the different albums we've got right here and automatically our video went into the camera roll. So we need to move it to a new album to make sure it is not after the 50 photos or videos in that given album. It's pretty easy to do. From your camera roll, you're going to just click on edit, select the video, and you're going to say add to. And you can add it to a new album. And click save. And the new album is created and your video is in there and it's the only one. You can put uh, up to 50 photos or videos, no matter how big they are, into this particular album. And with the free version of Simple Transfer, get them all to the computer. So how do we get them to the computer? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to search for Simple Transfer. Now, assuming you've got it installed on your device, it should show up right away. You can see the icon. So I click on Simple Transfer. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me a URL, a web address, that I'm going to type into the computer that I want to move the photos and the videos to, or copy them to. So what I'm going to do is go into Chrome here, and I'm going to type that in exactly as it appears on the iPad. So HTTP. Now, as I'm typing this in, I will say that this can be kind of a time-consuming thing if you've got 35 kids and the bell's about to ring. But you can see it can happen fairly quickly. Uh, another important detail here is that uh, you have to make sure that Simple Transfer stays open on the device in order for the download and the connection to be maintained. So you can't jump out of the app once you get the web address or in the middle of a download or something like that. You want to make sure that you, you keep it there. So, so we've got all of our different albums right there. I'm going to just click on Simple to go into it. And I'm going to put a check mark next to what I want to download, and I say download video. And as long as I keep Simple Transfer open right there on the iPad itself, you can see it downloads my video to wherever the default downloads folder is. And I've got my video here locally. Recording, we're recording. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, very, very handy and utilitarian when you've got a bunch of photos, a bunch of videos. Simple Transfer might just be the way to go. All right. Thank you for your time.